It's been a little while since the announcement that uh, Qualcomm is considering merging with uh, Intel. I have to say that I remember the days when I was at Applied Materials Board more than a decade ago. Intel was God. Intel was the one that could do no wrong. And now we found out that there's been some serious misrepresentations, let's just say, in the financials of the company, uh, hiding a lot of losses. Now, what happened? I think one way we can look at it is uh, the tow chip sector has been seriously distorted from normal market practices by the sanctions the U.S. imposed on Chinese semiconductor business. What happened is that uh, forcing the chip companies to give up their biggest market, which is China, is creating a new competitors for these chip companies from the Chinese development of chips by themselves. And this is something that has been distorting the market of late for a couple of years now. It's impacted on Qualcomm, it's impacted on Intel, of course, and then Samsung as well. And ultimately, of course, the real manufacturers, Taiwan Semiconductor, and so on. I think what we see is the sanctions by the U.S. on Chinese semiconductor industry, the market distorting forces that that creates is really no good for everyone. And this will eventually lead to serious downfall of a number of U.S. chip companies, as we see now what happened to Intel. What will eventually happen, whether or not it would be, be cash injection, or it would be an acquisition or merger, it's not clear yet. But uh, the turmoil in the semiconductor sector in the market especially now leading to a top level, uh, is going to continue and it's probably going to wreak more havoc on the semiconductor industries in the West. What will happen to Intel? Nobody really knows. Cash injection will help it along for a while, but it doesn't change the fact that uh, Intel no longer is at the tip of the pyramid. What will also happen to the acquisition case that uh, Qualcomm has produced, don't know yet. But what, from what I hear from friends in the sector, it's not going to be an easy acquisition to make, especially since it involves uh, financial records, which have indicated that there have been serious misrepresentation in the books of Intel. I think uh, it's very likely that something has to happen to save Intel, and something will happen to save Intel. This is despite the fact that the U.S. government, through their Inflation Reduction Act, has already given billions of support to the semiconductor industry in the U.S. But the market has been distorted. The biggest market in the world, namely the Chinese market, has been taken away by the, by the U.S. government sanctions, taken away from these chip companies. I think it's going to be very, very difficult times ahead for the chip companies.